Converge or diverge? Sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, k squared times e to the negative k power. We see that we have the negative exponent. What do we do? Of course, as usual, we can bring this down to the denominator. So this is the same as looking at this as sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, k squared on the top over e to the positive k. And now, you see that we have a k in the exponent, but unfortunately on the top here, we have a k squared. The way to take of this is let's use the ratio test. Even though there's no factorial, but then the ratio test will still work out okay. Let me show you how. Ratio test in action, and we have to work out ak plus 1 times 1 over ak, and take the limit as k goes to infinity, right? So we'll get to work. Check as k goes to infinity, and I'm just going to use this as my ak form. So let me take the absolute value. First, ak plus 1, I will replace the k and k here with k plus 1. So we look at that as k plus 1, parentheses square, over on the denominator, e to the k plus 1 power. And then we multiply by the 1 over k, which is just the reciprocal of the original. So that means we put down e to the k on the top over k squared on the bottom, like this, instead of the absolute value. And then we can um, simplify this. This is e to the k plus 1, e to the k times e to the first. This and that will cancel. And we're looking at this as, on the top, we have k plus 1 squared. Over, on the bottom, we have e times k squared. And do we need the absolute value? We don't, because everything here is positive, right? All right, how can we take the limit? On the top, this is k plus 1 and squared, so it's the same as saying, k squared plus 2k plus 1, if you want to multiply the L, which I just did. And this is the most dominating part, the highest power, the k squared, right? On the bottom, this is just a number, remember, this is the number e, that 2.7 something, times k squared. So you put them together into consideration. This is going to approach to k squared over e times k squared. And as you can see, k squared, k squared will cancel. So finally, the limit is just 1 over e. And now this is the limit. How big is this limit? We know e is about 2.7 something. 1 over e, it's going to be less than 1. Is this good or bad? Well, this right here, we know it's less than 1. We can draw conclusion. And the conclusion here is going to be Let's put down the original. Sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, k squared, e to negative k. When we work out the limit from the ratio test and we get less than 1, we know this right here converges. And we can say that it converges by the ratio test. That's it.